The almost daily vlog. We are back. This is Buckets. I am Foamy. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Today we have a really dope pair of sneakers. A pair of sneakers that, in all fairness, Buckets tried to put me on to quite some time ago, and I was, I drug my feet a little bit. I drug my feet or dragged my feet? Dr drug, I believe. Mm, I don't know. Sounds... Do you get dragged or do you get drug? I don't know. Before we get into the sneakers, we have three pairs of shorts. These are uncivilized mesh shorts. You got the champion logo, very, very nice quality, two pockets. I've talked about this before, but I hate shorts without pockets. So we wanted to do shorts and we had to have those pockets because not having pockets is uncivilized. You know, uncivilized in a bad way. Anyway, so these will be available to purchase August 16th, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, MrFomerSimpson.com. Yes, we do ship internationally. Size is small to 2XL, and the price will be 40 bucks. So, for everyone who wants a pair, there you go. Now, it is sneaker time. Yep. Bam. Adidas box. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang. The Adidas Aniki Runner. Beautiful, beautiful sneaker. I absolutely love this dark green colorway. I had previously said that the red pair was my favorite colorway, but I think that these are my favorite. After seeing all the colorways in hand now, these are the ones. That gum bottom, come on. Give me a break. How nice is that gum bottom? And the boost, the boost is the boost. See, this is one of those shoes that looks so much better on feet. Because when it's not on foot, it's a little bit, it's such a free flowing upper that it doesn't have much of a shape to it. I'm actually going to try this pair on right now. I've tried them on before, but true to size. They're a little bit wide, but they're not long. Me personally, I would say true to size, but, and this is a question that I get all the time. I don't have a particularly wide foot. These are going to be good for wide footers, whereas some of the other models aren't so much. I get that a lot. Yo, what's a good sneaker for a wide foot? This one right here. But also it's good for a not wide foot, a regular foot, because I have a regular foot and uh, it feels great. These are just, man, I love the quality on them. Like the suede that they used, the, the leather on the back. It's just dope. For 120 bucks, you can't beat this, man. You know this better than anybody. I've gone back and forth on what my favorite Boost is. I mean, Ultra Boost is my favorite, but that's been here for like three years now. Yeah. This is my favorite new Boost sneaker. Yeah. And and I've kind of wavered on that a little bit. It was the 9317s. It was the Pure Boost. It You know, th this is the shoe right here. You've been talking this shoe. Yeah. I and I was, I don't know. You know, I saw them in the store. I saw them in the box a couple times, and it was like, they kind of looked a little flimsy. They looked... Like I said, the shape wasn't great on them, but then on feet, I, w I think that's really when it, I was like, oh, wow, these are amazing, and they're so comfortable. It's really tough. When you get used to Boost, it really is tough to wear other sneakers because they're so comfortable right out of the box. I kind of was hesitant, but I have seen the light. Buckets, the visionary, he saw the light earlier. He saw it right away. For me, it took a little bit. It took a little bit. Well, the, what, what I like about them a right. lot it is how vintage they look. Right, right, right. With right, how right. new they look. Per Buckets nailed it right on the head right there. I was going to say the same thing. It has, it's a brand new model. Yeah. And yet, it has that classic look. It's kind of like on ESPN, like the instant classics. Yeah. This is one of those instant classics where it just instantly goes down in history almost. It's just like, it has that very, like... This could be right next to a Stan Smith and not look out of place. Yeah. For the exact reason why I liked the Tom Sachs joints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. the Mars Yards. Yeah. Is the same reason that I like these. It's a very modern, vintage blend executed perfectly. And don't you think it has kind of a very similar look to those? Absolutely. And it's like, 
I consider them almost like on the same line as the Cortez. I don't for know. Nike. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I definitely know what you mean because it does have that like 80s. It's almost like dad core. It's like different than dad core. It's like money making Mitch. It's like Rich Porter. Yo. It's like you have these, you have a Saab. Just, wow, this kid's on a roll today. Insert paid in full clip. Yo, now how we do. We got the brand new song. We coming through town. We bouncing. All right, here we go. I might need to get a forest green Saab just to drive around with these. There's no insole. So you're just right on top of that boost. I love that. These are awesome. And, you know, like, even the tongue, even the branding kind of has, like, that Stan Smithy kind of... Yeah, classic look. Shoes like this, sneakers like this, you can wear them with like a pair of shorts. You can wear them with a pair of sweatpants or you can dress them up almost with like a really high quality, nice pair of denim, like almost a higher fashion look. And you can like really do whatever you want with them. Super comfortable, super wearable. And another thing too, whenever you have a sneaker like this, you can beat the shit out of them and they still look good. It's one of those, that's the thing with like those like 80s, like really vintage type sneakers. You can really beat them up and they almost look better. If they fray a little bit, if they tear up a little bit, you know, and I think not just even with runners, like we talk about, that's why we, one of the reasons we love the Jordan 1s, the Jordan 3s. You can really beat them up and it kind of gives it almost adds character to it. It doesn't, it's not like, oh, this dude's sneakers are tore up. It's like, yo, those are fresh, you know? Oh, wow. You always try to sneak that in on me, huh? New phone? I do it in every video. New phone, who this? Yeah, no, I, I never. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. I, I mostly don't see it, and then I see a comment like, 847, buckets, new phone, who this? Damn. See, you go here, though. Yeah, you don't like to talk in here. Yeah, this is like a, like a seashell. Speaking of money-making Mitch, this is um, about the size of the cell phone back then. This is an awesome, awesome sneaker. I'll tell you what I need. Adidas, I will tell you what I need. What am I gonna say? I have no How idea. well do you know me? Oh, burgundy pair? Bang. That's why we're brothers, man. This guy, he understands. Burgundy boys, gang, 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 gang. Definitely, definitely need a burgundy pair. These are exquisite. I really don't know what else to say about these. I'm in love with them. Who, who gets these? Me or you? It's gonna have to be a battle. Ooh. Do we finally play that game of one-on-one -on -one to see who wins? To the victor goes the spoils. Who do you got your money on? Buckets, Foamy, the blue-eyed assassin, or what's your name? Buckets. The bearded bucket obtainer. <laughs> the bucket acquirer. And there's not even a lot of leather on it, so I don't know why it would smell like that. But it smells like one of those old mom and pop stores where it's like an old guy comes out of the back and measures your foot with that big metal contraption. And you realize that you're really a size 10 and your mom's been buying you size 13s. So, so you can you, grow into so them. You grow into them. Grow into them. Meanwhile, you're walking around with canoes on your feet. Thanks, Ma. Thanks a lot. Anyways, here it is. The Adidas Aniki Runner, my new favorite boost right here. I've been on the fence. I've been back and forth. I've been the boy who cried wolf a little bit. But <laughs> every boost that comes out, I'm like, this is my favorite boost. That's what happens when boost is life. That's what happens when you're a hype beast and boost is life. The anti-hype beast here. He knew all along. But I finally came around and this is the sneaker. So that is all I have. You got anything to add? Nope. Thank you all for watching. We really, really appreciate you. Yo, we have two amazing trips coming up basketball related we are going to take you along with us because that's what we do on the almost daily vlog trust me this is going to be epic levels right here this is going to be like something we've never done before on this channel and something that we've really really been working towards so please stay tuned for that stuff i i know that you are going to enjoy it as much as we are and the shorts august 16th 12 p.m eastern time uncivilized be there or be square this is Oh, wow. Nice. Well played. This is Buckets. I am Foamshire. What here?